Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to this uh, special Let's Play of Myth Force. My name is Luke Rideout. I am the creative director on Myth Force, and I am joined today uh, with a couple of awesome guests. Uh, we've got with us today uh, Mark Muir, Hello. Uh, the uh, voice of Daedalus, uh, the main bad of our game. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind uh, introducing yourself. Oh, hello, I'm Mark Meir. I do voices in video games, and one of the voices that I recently did uh, was Daedalus, the bit, big bad evil guy uh, of Myth Force, uh, the Skeletor, if you will, of this universe. Uh, so I was very much looking forward uh, to seeing Daedalus in action, and I'll be honest, I thought that uh, Nikki was going to play, and I was just going to taunt her as Daedalus, but <laughs> now I've been told that I have to play one of the characters and I suspect I'm going to be really bad at this. So my internal storyline is that Daedalus has infiltrated the party <laughs> and managed to mind control Hawkins to be really crappy, thus <laughs> foiling the heroes. I'm sure that plan's going to work. Thanks very much, Mark. And uh, welcome, to this, welcome to the party. Okay. Um, you get to play a good guy today. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're right. You get to fight yourself. I, like I say, I am totally a mole. I'm a sleeper agent <laughs> dedicated to bringing down this party and making sure that they do very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> and also with us today, we have uh, Nikki Hallow, the voice of Victoria, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself. Hello, I am Nikki Hallow. I'm very excited to be here to play the game. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a great backstory like Mark in terms of why I'm going to be shit at playing this, but I'm very <laughs> excited to play it. I got one for you. Okay. Victoria's drunk. Yes, Victoria's drunk. Victoria's been poisoned by Hawkins. Yes, yes, that's it. The sleeper agent has mm -hmm. poisoned Victoria. I, I'm very excited to play. Typically, my brother would play, and I would shit talk people, but uh, I don't get to do that today, so I'm sure I will, I don't know, have a good time. I'm really happy to be here, though, so thanks for having me. Thanks for joining us. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun today, and uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, we're here to have a good time. We're here to do uh, to just play the game. We're here to, to go and uh, beat up Daedalus. So, and finally with us, uh, of course, uh, that does not sound like a good time to me. <laughs> I'm going to be undermining Hawkins at every opportunity <laughs> by just you know probably walking into walls and missing a lot and other things that are bad. Uh, and uh, last but certainly not least, the uh, the head of Beamdog himself, it is uh, Trent Oster, if you'd like to uh, say hello. Hi, I'm Trent. <laughs> Fancy man of few words. <laughs> uh, my reason for sucking at playing is because I, uh, I just don't play it enough. And I'm usually playing broken builds and saying bad things about them. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're uh, new to Myth Force, the first time that you're seeing the game or you're just checking it out, uh, this is a cooperative uh, multiplayer action-adventure roguelike. Um, today we are uh, sort of unveiling the uh, 1030 patch for the game, uh, which has uh, improved some of our networking and uh, improved sort of the multiplayer experience. With a couple of other little additional things that you'll be seeing possibly for the first time today. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, instead of uh, you know talking your ear off too much and uh, trying to explain it verbally, why don't we show everybody what the game is like? Okay. So where where are we going to begin? We are going to jump straight into the last three chapters of the game, uh, the castle. That, that's probably harder than the beginning of the game. <laughs> <laughs> probably harder than the beginning of the game. But you know what? Uh, if we didn't, then we would never get to hear the voice uh, of Daedalus himself, aside from what you're saying when we're that's playing true. the game. So. That's true. I can't wait for you to mimic yourself. <laughs> okay. I'll just do what I did before. Uh, so, okay, great. So yeah. we're going to jump into Cauldron of Bats? Yeah, please uh, take us to episode 7. Okay. And we'll watch I'm running the opening a server video. because uh, I, have a, I have a great machine here. Excellent. Funny enough, a machine that was sent to us okay. by our, our friends at AMD. And uh, we'll be watching all the cinematics, of course. That's right, right of course. Right. Yeah, anybody skips, they die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have rigged your computer to blow up if you press the space button. While the <laughs> is playing. But we're in the Beam Dog office. Well, it's a mistake because it says difficulty normal instead of easy, which I specifically requested. <laughs> it's fine. You'll this is going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, we're going to die. The we're good thing is you can, you can uh, Luke is really good at carrying shitty players. I speak from experience. God, okay, I okay. love the theme song every fucking time. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm swearing. No, it's all right. Okay. I do love this cinematic. Oh. Yeah. 
Thanks, Maggie. It's hard to say, Maggie. The place seems to grow new rooms all the time. Ah, my long expected... Myth 4 sees a cartoon. <laughs> I see you Shh, Daedalus is talking. I felt it was time to drop in. See the old gang and... You know, stab them. Pity I had no time for your amusing badinage. I have a ritual to complete and all of magic to enslave. All right, Daedalus wins. <laughs> oh wait, there's one. Soon, all magic yes. will be under my control. I'll put an end to you, vampire. Enough talk. Huh. You sound Marcus. pretty confident for someone who's about to really suck, Hawkins. <laughs> Mark, it's you, but with fangs and nails. And sit-ups. <laughs> it's the joy of CG. We can add the sit-ups. This is true. Okay. Oh, and we're in our Halloween costumes. Is that correct? Oh, that's we right. Are. Yeah, we are uh, running around. We're in all our in. Uh, yeah, it, you know, okay, because so... it is the season. Uh, you know, we're we're nice and close to um, you know to Halloween itself. Thought it might be nice to uh, have all of us in our uh, seasonally appropriate attire. Yes, and I do like that uh, Rico is Teen Wolf as opposed to a more <laughs> generic version of a werewolf. You know, we we talked about doing the Lon Chaney Wolfman kind of uh, look, but uh, one of our concept artists came back with you know a couple of classics, and then this one I was like, oh man, we we can't not do it. And he's even in the Oilers colors. So. I mean, yeah, it's a, and it's. <laughs> 80s video game, so of course the Teen Wolf reference of is awesome. We got Maggie as a vampire, and I do like that Victoria is not Bride of Frankenstein, she's Frankenstein's monster. Oh, yeah. I also very much like that. <laughs> An upgrade indeed. And I am the, I when I first saw this I thought he's like, oh, and, and Rico's the mummy, and it's like, nope, he's the invisible man. Yeah. Uh, we were you gonna. I, I, we're I didn't realize that my art team, that the art team was gonna be able to like, you know, get the whole you know, transparent head, stuff like that done. In, in retrospect, cool. it should have been uh, an obvious, the obvious choice, but we were going to do the whole, like, zinc-painted nose and stuff like that. But they just <laughs> came came right to it, and they're like, no, 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 look, you know, we can make him invisible. This is, you know, just 3D cartoon stuff. We Pretty cool. Do, so. All right, shall the bloodbath begin? <laughs> so let's, yeah. let's move forward and see where we go. Uh... But yeah, um, so the two of you have had a little bit of uh, opportunity to play the game. Um, I'm literally like, you know, 45 minutes this morning. <laughs> right on. Uh, yeah, have you uh, have you had a chance to play with uh, any of the characters a little bit? Uh, I only played Hawkins because I assumed in preparation for this that Victoria was going to be played by uh, Nathan, so. Oh no, I got locked out. Whoa, what? It's okay, you'll be fine. Let me see if I can get to the other Oh my side god, I went to the other direction. No, I'm locked in. <laughs> By myself. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I was invisible for a second. Oh, okay. So the four characters of the game that we are playing, um, I'll start with a character that I'm playing right here. This is uh, Maggie. She is the mage. Get him um, her main uh, sort of inspiration of, uh, of creating this character is we wanted to, of course, fulfill the sort of... Uh, fantasy archetype of the mage so um her primary skills are sort of in being the team uh glass cannon a little bit of support uh, to her she mostly uh focuses around casting spells like fireballs here um there are a couple of other elements that you can uh, bring into battle but i uh, went pretty classic um, character that uh, Nikki is playing here uh, is Victoria. She is the leader of the team. She is the uh, group's knight and probably the tankiest of the characters. So um, thank she you. Be there <laughs> in the front lines, um, taking the hits and uh, keeping the heat off of the rest of the team. Uh, Mark is, of course, playing Hawkins, the hunter, the lone wolf of the team, and the uh, most adept at ranged combat. Uh, his uh, skills mostly surround uh, keeping at distance and uh, popping heads. I just shot a skeleton in the nuts and he doesn't <laughs> even have any. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally... Uh, these Trent... cartoons didn't dwell on that kind of thing. That's yeah. true. You know, it as long as we don't draw point. attention to it, you're, you're more than, uh, you know, more than welcome to uh, uh, draw your own conclusions. That's what's happening. Um, 
And then finally, uh, Trent is playing Rico, the uh, because I only know how to play rogue. one character. There's no such thing as friendly fire in this game, is there? No, fortunately. Uh, my spells can kind of bounce off of you guys, but um, aside from that... Uh, so I can no. fire into melee without even worrying exactly. about it. Exactly. You don't exactly. need to worry about hitting us with your arrows. I see a way forward. Mostly we need to worry about getting in your arrows' way. We have a uh, potion here, if anyone needs one. Uh, I've already got one. I am okay, I think. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. Maggie's so helpful. Pardon? Maggie is so helpful. Because Luke's playing Maggie. <laughs> so I got a question for uh, for the two of you, uh, Mark and Nikki. Yeah. Um, yes. Did you find any sort of uh, specific challenges to voicing a character that's sort of authentic to the 1980s style? Uh, because I'm very old, I got to experience it all firsthand. So <laughs> I, I, you know, just cast my mind back to... Avenger in uh, the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon, and as mentioned, Skeletor. And those sorts of so yeah, it was uh, it was a real thrill actually. I uh, I really like the concept of this, and the trailer was and the theme song really sold me on it. I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, we are uh, really happy to have worked with the uh, composer uh, Ross uh, Lara, who is uh, something of an '80s uh, lover himself. So uh, I think we, uh, we managed to pick. Uh, all the all the right folks who kind of uh, got the uh, got the assignment when, uh, when we did this. How about you, Nikki? Uh, any uh, any inspirations you drew, or uh, any challenges that you faced with the uh, sort of getting into the 1980s character? Uh, he man, <laughs> he man, of course. Uh, I always really loved 80s cartoons. I wasn't an 80s baby, but my brothers were, um, and so I always found a lot of joy in watching 80s cartoons with them. Uh, I remember auditioning for the role, uh, and the description was just so ooh, clear ooh, nicely done there. that it was, oh my god, I can, I can level up. use my special feature. Uh, I just got to um, So it was just really clear, and working with you and working with Mark Zim uh, Chris Mark Zimmerman, Mark Mears right here, but Chris Zimmerman, um, just made it really easy to drop in and have a, like, a quick understanding, but also just like looking at the character, you just feel empowered to be her and to feel like I can say this. I also love that the tank in this is female. I love that. It's not often, and she's wearing clothes. <laughs> I know some people are going to be upset about that, but uh, energy wrecking <laughs> it has limbs. happened. But you know, we don't we don't dwell on that too much. <laughs> <laughs> No, we uh, we really wanted to, to sort of create something that uh, really um, evoked the, the oh, not just the you know sort of 1980s that you would always see, but uh, you know that that sort of promise of the uh, diverse group of heroes that uh, that would always sort of band together for the greater good. You know, you you'd see stuff at cartoons like uh, Captain Planet and stuff to make up like that. The time that uh, Until we're done, Rico. Yeah. That uh, you know works works toward that sort of. Um, you know, that sort of archetype, that sort of feel of you know a group of heroes banding together, maybe, uh, maybe from different backgrounds, maybe uh, doing different uh, things, but all working towards one. I think one thing to call out is that uh, and both Nikki and Mark are playing on uh, controllers. Well, Luke and I are, are PC gamers from way back, <laughs> and uh, controllers just hurt us. <laughs> well, you know, I grew up playing PC games myself, um, so, uh, you know, the, the keyboard and mouse controls sort of made more sense to me at the start, but, uh, you know, it's, it's actually been a, a lot of fun kind of uh, becoming more sort of in tune with what makes a, you know, a good controller experience versus a good sort of keyboard and mouse experience, and, uh, and we always love to learn new things when we're making video games, you know? Um, Trent, uh, I asked uh, you know Nikki and, and Mark about their sort of uh, inspiration influence in uh, 1980s cartoons. I uh, feel like I would be uh, uh, leaving you out if we didn't hear a little bit about sort of your favorites from the era and what uh, you've kind of used to inform. All the, about uh, Thundercats. Oh no! <laughs> okay, how can I help Victoria? Here we go. We need you back all in about Lionel and the Thundercats. I will revive you. Thank you. I like how it just sort of like no, no, gently pat you to revive you. Thank you. There we go. 
there, okay, there. Thank you there, very there. Much. Remind me where my items are. <laughs> <laughs> What do we got here? Peppy boots and expeditious boots. Mm. Yeah, I got something for you, uh, Victoria. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna hold on to these uh, mythic keys. Like that. Potion. Purple is help. the answer. Yeah, I got lucky off the get go. I got some good boots. Happiness is epic boots, my friend. They're hoarder boots. <laughs> this dude, that will do nothing. Health restored. So we got a community question here. Um, I was asking that. Uh, ultimately, I think it's going to be a, a Trent and me question. But the, what are sort of the, some of the specific 1980s uh, sort of tropes and things that have been difficult for us to um, adapt to sort of the video game? Um, I think probably the the hardest thing for us ultimately, although it sounds kind of trivial in the, in the long run, is just making a video game that is an action game that's about fighting monsters and not and sort of also trying to stay true to the idea that sort of in 1980s cartoons, especially ones where you're playing the heroes, not you know, not leaning too heavily into violence and not oh, like uh, trying to contextualize it in such a way that like you know. Killing large groups of, of creatures is not doesn't create a, a huge amount of cognitive dissonance, and it's not you know easy every time. But and we had to go back and forth a few times and like uh, re rewrite some lines uh, and so on and and try and find a way to even have things like death animations from monsters um, feel like you know these are creatures that are created of, of dark magic as opposed to you're going through and. You know, systematically murdering a, uh, a whole bunch of monsters. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's always a challenge with games, and I, I think a big one as well was just just the game development itself, trying to take the overall concept and map it into a fun experience that can be played mm -hmm. one to four players and be challenging but not brutalizing, and, and just Hello, kind friends. of walk the right line. <laughs> so it was, it's been a real challenge. Oh Where's Victoria? Uh, sorry, I'm just staring at this painting of Daedalus <laughs> that he has up on his wall. Oh, wait, oh, I gotta see a painting of Daedalus. This yeah, I'm up see. here. You need to come up here and look <laughs> at you. See that. Oh my god. And your that. hair is just like, just like kind of in your face. It's very like oh, no. sexy, mysterious. <laughs> sorry, Trent, I tripped that, that tripwire. That was entirely my fault. As we're all Are on you coming? Or... To... Right, we're, we're on the way. We're on the way. Okay. So, okay. Chest <laughs> on the way. I tripped the other one. From a, a little teleporter? No, I just was running around. Okay, where I are... should know how to get there. Okay, I see you guys. Oh, you, you gotta go Oh, here we go. The stairs, go. yeah. Hi. Oh, way. yeah. There, there you are. Hi. I see. Oh no, turn around. You're up a level. I am. I'm literally on the other side of uh, Hawkins. Yep. There you, where... go. There you are. Oh, Hi. There go. You gotta yeah. run around the perimeter. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty gold okay. filigree. That's you know the the frame. The little goblin head frame. Cute little goblin head, yeah. The buckle. Lots of teeth. That, that belt You buckle. can tell that when this was being oh, yeah. painted, that Daedalus like, really like flexed for it for a long time <laughs> to really, like, ooh, you know what I mean? That is an excellent portrait of Daedalus. Well, you know, and may I say it's captured how handsome and powerful he is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like to say uh, Daedalus' body is a temple. And the castle of evil is a temple to his body. Oh, thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's looking a little old, though. The painting's uh, kind of I mean, you know. And... Well, Daedalus, th I mean, this is the painting so that he looks good and the painting looks old. It's yeah, like Dorian uh, Gray. He is, a, he is a vampire, after all. This was painted many, many years ago. Okay, I where are we going? really use another. <laughs> 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 we'll find them, we'll find them. Everything will be fine. You still got about half your health. That seems to be a common theme. <laughs> uh, fall damage is the thing in this, is it? It fall is. Oh, it is. is okay, well, I'm not going to be quite as cavalier. Yeah, as it, it doesn't yeah. hurt so much to, so, to fall. It's mostly just a little slap on the Can you fall? Oh, I guess you're, you're invisible. Yeah. You're not invincible. Right. I do the Rico thing. Rico has a double jump, so you jump off and you fall, you and just before you hit the ground, right before the you end, hit the yeah. second jump, and it, it uh, eliminates the dying part. Oh, that's nice. 
Chant a I mean, honestly, me. like a, a fall. We we wanted to keep fall damage pretty light. It's mostly just a deterrent from like you know jumping down into big groups of enemies without a plan. Um, but you say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. This is one of the reasons I die a lot. All right, let's All right. move on. We've got our first mini boss. It's a glowy guy. We fight against Fel Magus Ivan. Oh, he yeah. ran away like a coward. That's because I came to start stabbing him. So he's a caster. I'm going to use my uh, special ability here, which uh, creates a barrier to, that will uh, prevent his spells from hurting us. I'm going to hide out in your barrier. As I just come and start hitting him. <laughs> or you can just bully him into a corner. You know, that works too. Yeah. Whoa! Nice, nice. Victoria just beats the snuff. <laughs> I was excited to hit things. <laughs> this game does a really good thing, job though. of addressing that desire. I just want to hit Sorry, the thing. Oh, look, there's another. Look it, it's another Daedalus, but it's closer up. He's got a sneer on. Is it a oh, sneer or a smile? <laughs> Let me see. I, I think that's pretty sneery. Oh, yeah. It's it's a smile with a bit of tude. <laughs> Very rugged, mysterious. Yes. Yeah. I think, guys, that we shouldn't fight Daedalus. I think, <laughs> I think he makes a lot of sense. Oh, my God, look at you. Your statues of you holding boulders. See, oh, yeah, there's the six packs. Yeah, if, you, if you're keeping an eye out, uh, there are little uh, Daedalus uh, things up, up everywhere, even up there. Oh my on the, god! Uh, he's a bit of a narcissist. A I was gonna bit. say, but he's still, a I don't think he's a bad guy. You Again, guys. You say that like it's a there's, bad oh thing. my god! There's a. This is beautiful. This tapestry in here. Ugh, I don't feel well. Oh yeah, you know and... that tapestry of you. Get out of here. Is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> There's a healing potion on the ground there if you want to go. Oh, I got yes, one. I need it. Oh, hey, that's a. I don't think I've seen that art. Did you see it? The other ones I've seen in, like, because they're bits of key art. But that feels very tarot esque. Yep. I love it. I think that was in your wavy hair phase. Like back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. Back up. Yeah, don't, <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't trigger the trap. I just love the imagery. Okay, I'm not poisoned anymore. No, it doesn't last for that That's long. That's good. Someone cast Lesser Restoration. Oh no, that's a different game. So I know we brought you in for a recording sort of long before the game was uh, really in... Uh, a state where you could kind of see it really in motion with all the a animation and stuff like that. Markwood came in a little bit later in the uh, in the recording because you know Delis is one of the last uh, bosses that we created in the game. So once we knew all of the uh, all the challenges in creating a good sort of boss fight for one v four, but uh, when you first got the chance to sort of see the uh, the cartoon in uh, in motion, uh, you got what were your first thoughts on that? Seeing the cartoon in motion? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh. Like, I was elated. I think one of the exciting things for me too, I remember like seeing some of the concept art for um, Victoria. This is like pre-animation, but mm -hmm. like seeing some of the concept art in the audition that was, was seemed very different what she looked like. And then I showed up and she looked like this and I was like, oh, it looks like me. I was so <laughs> excited. Um, but seeing the animation was so exciting. I so badly want Myth Force to have a, a cartoon. The animation is so beautiful. Um, and all the characters are so... What? Oh, my ability upgrades. Sorry. Distracted. <laughs> Someone else talk. I need to read. <laughs> ability upgrades are awesome. Yeah. We really wanted to to see if we could capture sort of the real, the soul of, of some 1980s cartoons. And, you know, in in retrospect, there are sub places where I probably went a little bit overboard with trying to get make it as authentic as possible. But uh, I don't know. I think the the, the uh, uh, you know the the results sort of speak for themselves. And I'm kind of happy with the way that it all turned out. And I'm uh, you know, but I'm I'm like super grateful that that uh, I was able to bring the two of you in and, and the rest of the cast to come in and voice the characters because like at the end of the day um, you know that performance really really sort of sells it and, and can sort of make or break the feel of sort of 1980s cartoon and you mentioned Chris earlier as well yeah. who uh, um, I think was 
you know, very much part of that secret sauce, because uh, I don't very know if, uh, if folks know it, but, like, she um, was a voice director for some of the cartoons back in the day. Yes. Right? She worked uh, with sort of the Hanna-Barbera uh, and so on to uh, to create, to work on series like uh, Parts of Dark, Dark Water, for example. Um, so it's like that kind of... Uh, uh, that kind of experience really, uh, really I think, ha- helped a lot too. Oh, and just getting everybody's perspective in there. Definitely. Uh, and just generally, I think you all had a really excellent idea of what you wanted the game to be, and so it made it really clear for us as performers how to embody those those pieces, right? So what you're saying is we were really good at hiding the fact we yeah. didn't have a clue. What yeah, we were doing. That. yeah. What the hell? Oh no, that that's right, Maggie's. Though? Well, he must be very scared of my powers. It's like, oh my god, there's a mechanical owl. No, that's, <laughs> I know. that's on our side. Specifically to kill mages. Oh, I love all that. Oh. I gotta rerun. I gotta remember. You can always press X to reroll. I always forget, and I'm like, oh, these ones I don't want, and I just take the thing. But you <laughs> always have to pick one. Uh, yeah, you, 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 uh, right, right now you have to choose uh, one of the options, but if uh, you don't find something that you like, there is that reroll mechanic where you can uh, change one Which I also have been used yet, Victoria, but I've usually found something I like. I in that case, I'm glad so this room doesn't have any monsters in it, it's what we call a treasure be. room. Nice they're not very frequent, but when they come along, they're a happy, happy I thing. <laughs> In case anyone's Ooh, I just got a mythic amulet. A little what? I, I just got another a, a mythic as well. Or not sorry, not a mythic, uh, legendary. Uh, who's hurting the most? I got a potion here. Uh, Help let me restore. grab that if I may. I should have stole it from you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one if you need one. Here. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. It's all about chugging the potions. Teamwork oh, makes the dream work. That, exactly. You gotta keep that health level up. We got somebody new here. Oh, Some new critters. Get? Oh yeah. It's uh things that you don't see until much later in the game. Ooh. Um well, the uh, living lizard men and the skeletal lizard men as well. The key to Rico is to be behind the enemy. <laughs> it's when so he does sneaky. all his best work. That is the rogue. What is this? Ah, that's an excellent question. Uh oh, go I die. Hit it. He needs to die. Uh, does this portal do anything? Okay. Uh, not yet, but once we clear the room of enemies, it might do something. I got smacked. This guy's celebrating this one. Uh, skeleton comes out just celebrating, and then I just hit him <laughs> in the face. It <laughs> is, you, you feel kind of bad doing that. You're like, oh, but buddy, you're so hap- happy, but. Technically, he's taunting you when he does that. But... Get the <laughs> Get out of my face, Roth. Oh, ability upgrade. Okay. Almost a word. Dropped a health potion on the ground there. Next. I think where you are. I'm on fire. Marker where I you were. I'm on, ah, I'm on fire. Wait. Oh, here's the exit. I gotta stop being on fire. Oh, we've already been through here. Yeah, so those rifts just uh, take you to other little corners of the room. All about the perk stack, baby. <laughs> Whoa. What's up with that guy? So we talked a little bit about uh, sort of inspiration in 80s cartoons and things like that we watched. Um, if you could add one... Uh, cartoon hero from any series into the uh, Myth Force roster. Uh, who would you have? Oh. Okay, sorry. You said who? Add who? 
Who would you add to the uh, roster of uh, Myth Force heroes if you could? Uh, Anyone? Like... Egon from Real Ghostbusters. <laughs> Egon, nice. <laughs> There's a skill set that's not duplicated. Uh, let's see. I mean, there are a lot of undead, so it kind of makes sense, actually. I don't know uh, if it would be uh, really safe to be running around in front of the proton pack, but... Uh... Well, if there's no friendly fire, it's all good. That's true! <laughs> it's absolutely true. How about you, uh, oh leader of Myth Force? Uh, who would you recruit first? Mumra! Who would I recruit? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, actually, you know, Daedalus would recruit Skeletor and Mumra and Cobra <laughs> Commander. <laughs> It's a rainbow coalition of evil, huh? <laughs> there would be a lot <laughs> more trouble for the heroes. That's a good question. I don't even... 80s cartoons? <laughs> My Mine would not fit into this world, uh, but Optimus Prime. I mean, having a giant <laughs> robot stomping around would probably help. It yeah. Might, might be a little bit rough to, uh, yeah. to have him fit through these Well, the bad news is... Deadless recruited all the Decepticons. No! <laughs> I, I hate Starscream, I said it. I, I can't stand his voice. I can't. I met Peter Cullen in a pop shop once, and it's the only time that I, uh, like, fangirled. I just panicked and started crying. <laughs> and I've never done that before. Like, I've done shows with people, like... But yeah, it was. He was. Yeah, my childhood. Maybe next time I'll break his. I loved Transformers. Couldn't watch My Little Pony or anything like that. My brothers would lose their minds. <laughs> uh, but Transformers was heaven. That was some good stuff. We had the. Uh, I, I wasn't there, unfortunately, at the time, but uh, we had the, uh, the pleasure also to work with uh, Jim Cummings um, as Minsk. For uh, the Baldur's Gate series. Ah, yes. I will say though about Starscream's voice, uh, uh, I think he does an excellent job at the voice. Oh yeah. And that's why I don't like him because <laughs> he does such a good job. You know, I I think Starscream is one of the. Uh, more underappreciated uh, true villains of, yes. uh, of a series you know you've got Megatron and Megatron is evil but then you've got Starscream who is so dedicated to being evil like he has um, like he is like a compulsive uh, backstabber yes like even when he was on even he had like the chance to uh, to like truly take over uh, or to at least truly help Megatron take over like half of the time he would uh, oh, really be the ultimate cause of the uh, loss of the Decepticons just yeah, because yes. he had to betray somebody that, jump that day gets you know? him across a room pretty quick doesn't it In a hurry. yes it's his favorite pastime it's like his hobby yeah betrayal yes but I mean if you know what you're good at <laughs> <laughs> exactly lean into your strengths right yeah it doesn't really come across so hard, or so much in the uh, in the game itself, but uh, sort of Hexstar is meant to uh, fulfill that role, sort of in the middle force um, group of baddies, I guess. You know, you you always do have to have that um, opportunistic villain, I guess, in the uh, in the group. Finally. I, see a way I would love to be able to tell more sort of myth or uh -oh. stories and uh, really give you more of a feel for each of the uh, each of the bad guys as well, the heroes. You know? mm -hmm. It's one of the one of the problems with making a, a video game where you don't want to take the control away from players for very long. Does Epic beat Mythic? Uh, Mythic is the top. Okay. Tier. Well, you know what? I'd still like to swap it out because I could use some more physical effects. <laughs> Got a shop here. Oh, but there's an epic amulet back else. here if anybody wants it. Uh, there anyway. was uh, there was a mythic amulet. Now there's an epic amulet. Oh, I see. Uh, it's thirty percent <laughs> uh, max health. No max health amulets are good. Ooh, maybe I I might like that better. Do you want it? Have yeah. It. We gotta have like trading. Yeah, this is physical defense. Unit. I'm gonna so take that health instead. Health's a wonderful thing. I guess I'll grab the last one. Oh wait, a minute, I already had an amulet. 
Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> this is probably better. Watch, I just get completely nuked by some ice spell in a minute, but... Ooh, I'm on fire. I thought I missed it, but I didn't. That happens. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it really does. Happens more often than, we, than you know, you might like. But that's the uh, the hallmark of a good trap. Oh hey, oh, there you are. Skelly, you're like Mr. Skelly, praising your own book. <laughs> Where's everybody else? I don't think you're through there because I'm staring at all that. Next room, there you all are. So. I know it's been a while since we've done uh, recording, but uh, did the uh, either of the two of you have sort of a favorite line or a favorite sort of character moment in the recording that you did that uh, that you remember? You draw at your own defeat, Force Lord. <laughs> uh, I do like that. I think it's from a cinematic that we just watched. The uh, uh, which uh, I have no time for your amusing badinage. Yes, <laughs> badinage. You know, it's funny that uh, that line did make it into the uh, into the cinematic. We uh, we have a couple more scenes that uh, that didn't quite make it the cut into the game itself, but uh, um, because that was more of a promo, there was originally a line actually that uh, Victoria has as well, where she throws it right back to right back at him at the end there. But uh, because it doesn't play in the episodes um, or sort of in the course of running through the castle, we uh, ended up having to re uh, reshoot. Um, Victoria's line, but it, it was always great where, you know, she was, like, you don't get to hear Victoria getting, like, snippy very often. Yeah. So it was great, like, having you in there, like, I'm amusing bad enough. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to give the, uh, straight Whoa, laced leader character a, uh, a, a lot. couple of moments like that, right? Stop swiping, Swiper. Yeah. Oh, did we run into a red cap? Oh, fire. Got a blue potion over here on the ground. More if healing. anybody needs yeah. it. Oh, something's shooting at me. Watch Wait, that. Ah, I just got poison. Ah, poison. <laughs> An idiot. <laughs> it's the button. There's a trap there? Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trap there. Watch out for the uh, lizard man there. For the honor of Eldrin. Oh, we did it. No, you take it. Were you dropping something for me? Uh, no, I was looking at it and I accidentally picked it up and I'm like, ooh, fire-resisting amulet. That is nowhere near as good as my mythic exalting amulet that I got off of Mark. <laughs> so I'm uh, totally going to stick with the, the uh, What's mythic. What's up there? We are getting some fire damage. Did we go I've been poisoned. At all? Oops. I just came down. Was there anything up there? Uh, there was a chest. Did you open it? I did. Oh, okay. Well, I got some gold. It's, Here we go. Uh, Unfortunately, sometimes on Mythforce, it's kind of like uh, epic loot race. Yeah. <laughs> and I gotta say, I uh, I win a lot of epic myth, uh, epic uh, loot races. It's true. Actually, that's uh, Trent is the reason why uh, all gold and other uh, metagame currency is shared in uh, Mythforce. <laughs> I used to be Goldilocks. Yeah. All, earlier in development, yes, uh, you would only keep Boy. the stuff that you yourself buy. Wow. Big and, guy. Uh, that often meant that uh, some of us would leave a dungeon with like no gold or very little gold. Um, wow, that, um, that stone goliath did not last very long against us here. I, think I feel like we might have... be, uh, my game might be a little oh, bit sorry, too Mark, easy. <laughs> I thought I, no, Do I got it. it? Yeah. I got the help. This way to the next area. Oh, these pots. I forgot about these pots. <laughs> Some of them sneaky pots that aren't real ones. It's all about the sneaky pots. Never thought I would attach the label sneaky to a pot. 
Daedalus' throne across the way there. This is the original location where the amusing badinage line would have come in. Uh -huh. Whoa. It's all about amusing badinage. There's my throne. Look at that. All right. Successfully finished episode seven. Wow. Okay. Nice to know, team. I think that's the first time I've actually made it through <laughs> episode seven. And look at us in our Halloween costumes. Oh, so cool. Yeah. In the interest of uh, of making sure that we get the chance to uh, fight Daedalus himself, uh, why don't we jump straight to episode nine? Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm up, I'm up for it. All right. This is where the Hawkins heel turn really comes in. <laughs> we did fine. That was uh, that was uh, that was an easy run. I, I think we might be slightly once. overjacked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Compensates if you, for if my you lack wonder of how skill. Uh, video game developers let's plays look so good, it's because we cheat like bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take no, all. No, no, like the help. we're not immune to damage. Yeah. You know, all all I did is give us maxed out weapons and yeah. up our constellation. So level it's it's level. legit cheating. We just yeah. It's like we played the game for a thousand nice of hours. Nice and legal. Nice and legal. I only have like 1,200 hours in the game or something like that. So. <laughs> Cinematic! Oh, I'm so excited. Mine's still loading. Uh, I got a serrated. Inflict bleed 2 on perfect parry. Considering I have never pulled off a successful perfect parry in my life, I should probably not get that. <laughs> Give uh, Nikki a chance to catch up here. Now, will folks be watching this before Halloween? Um, not quite sure. Uh, we're still uh, still nailing down the uh, the release time of this. Uh, well, I hope all our viewers have a happy Halloween and or had a happy Halloween. Yes. <laughs> all Hallow's Eve. I'm just gonna relaunch this and uh, join into the game. Halloween okay. is actually one of the best uh, best holidays on the planet, man. Oh yeah, for sure. I quite agree. My favorite. Yes. Also, my wedding anniversary. I was gonna say you two got married on Halloween, didn't you? It's about picking a holiday that speaks to you. Oh, yeah, Halloween and you is... will never forget your wedding anniversary. So no, that is true. <laughs> yes, we uh, Belinda and I have been doing a fair bit of Halloween tourism lately. And, uh, we're gonna see how Orlando celebrates Halloween this year. So a little Halloween horror nights. And it should be fun. Disney Halloween and whatnot. Thanks. We've been to, let's see, the Greenwich Village Halloween Parade in New York, to Salem. We actually went to Hobbiton once on Halloween uh, like in New Zealand for the evening feast. That was a lot of fun. That would be fun. So I will so spawn Nikki has in joined the next us and she'll, she'll spawn in uh, as soon as we finish the, uh, the first run. I have, uh, I have never been to New Zealand. It is Neither amazing. I You've never been where? Recommend it. To New Zealand. What? Oh, right. Oh no, their enemy's coming from from behind us. I'm not here, have fun. <laughs> I'll be right there. Yoink. I think this is where we uh, are all our comments about doing really well. I think they end here. No, you we'll know, be it'll fine. Happen. It'll, be, it'll okay. be fine. We'll we'll take a couple hits. You know, we'll be in pain. Because but... we're actually on the last level right now, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is this is the moment where it, it humbles us a little bit. By humble, you mean smashes us down like paste. Oh, I can follow yeah. differently. Yeah, you know, exactly like that. Uh oh. Oh, lizard man coming up. Oh god. Well. Oh. I'll just wait until the ice is done. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Yes, you... When you're talking about the stone ball in the other room, I just ran in and ran under its legs and just started hitting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that's that's the strategy, oh, God, there's right? a guy behind me. Go in like there the one, and, uh, beast or fight, and slap it down until it's done. Go in, stand under his <laughs> loincloth, and just wail. Yeah. 
that was uh, that was another challenge, uh, making a really big creature that you could fight in first person. We didn't really anticipate that you'd be all up in his junk for a while, so uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. a little weird. that's when you go to fight him and it's like, oh, wait a minute, that was probably, yeah, we should probably change that. That's why he's uh, sort of squatting down a lot. You know? <laughs> so you're in, his, you're in his fuzzy belly a little bit more often than, uh, you know, than eye to eye with his loincloth. Here we got... Where's Rico? I'm, uh... Are you, you beyond? He's, nope. uh, no, he's catching I, up. I was in a treasure room looting <laughs> He treasure. was looting. Thanks for that. The general rule of thumb is if there's something great in a level, I'm stealing it. <laughs> well, the, the beauty of it being, of course, that uh, you know, we're all getting it. I'm going to take rallying speech so all party members gain 5% to all stats. Yeah. That's team play. I, Love it. That's, that's, that's unheard of. <laughs> you taking the team perk? Really appreciate wow, actually, it. Wow, actually taking one for the team. <laughs> yeah. Watch out! Ooh. I was realizing while we were playing the last uh, round here that uh, I was not using my special abilities very often. All about those special abilities. It really is, like, um... We got a like, exactly what potion. you just did. It's one thing about the game, periodically it decides that it's not going to be very generous with the healing. And you're like, I can really use some healing right now! Yeah. I remember, uh, recording a lot of the, like, I'm on fire <laughs> sounds. <laughs> yes. Uh, I can't remember what I did. I did something. We were recording a line. It was sound, and I remember you and Chris going, "No, that was too much. <laughs> that was too real. People won't like that." Yeah. Nope, so <laughs> it was a re-recording, if you remember. Actually, oh, we, we did one session. Uh, I think all all told, it was three sessions with uh, with you, or was it four? four? Yeah, that's right. So in the first session, we did record a bunch of like, like a uh, damage type specific. Oh no, uh, and. Uh, Nikki here does a blood curdling scream if you ask her to. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> and it did sound like she was on fire and literally dying. And, and we uh, we put it into the game and uh, we put it in front of Trent. And Trent was like, no, you can't do that. That doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. This is a little too horrifying. It's like, that is literally horrifying. And, and this is, you know, this is for kids. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. It will be too scary. Yeah. I mean, I agreed immediately. Like, yeah, you know what? That is real bad. Um, but we, we, you know, you gotta keep your keep each other honest a little, a little yeah. bit around. This kind of thing, so. You're always trying um, to walk that line of cartoon violence versus authentic and and really good acting. And it's like, well, it's true. You know, let's let's tone it down just a bit. Back in the '80s, of course. Did uh, you hear that exchange? <laughs> the anything I should know about the group? I, well, I once saw Hawkins eat a potato raw, and then Rico's like, what? And like, like an apple. He's like, oh, I forgot about that one. Sorry to interrupt. No worries. I just remember hearing that, or remember recording that, being like, that is so funny. <laughs> it's weird, and weird is always funny. Uh, what was like? Oh, yes. And so, well, back in the 80s, of course, like, if you've ever seen the... Where's the healing potion that was? Oh, I just pinged it. You can find There's it. There's one up here there. too, if you want. Where I am. I could sure use one. Okay, well, I'll stay here. Yeah, there you go. Yo. Do please continue on. Yes. And you said there was another one somewhere because oh was yeah, right over here. Beat to hell. If you want a potion, there's one here. Oh, that's those boots. If you turn right, you'll there see it. There we go. Luke's really good at flagging things, and carrying players like me. <laughs> if anyone doesn't have any boots, these are going to give you a little bit of extra gold. Although, I started us with 2 million gold, so it might not be that much of a big deal at the moment. Yeah, gold's not really a motivator right yeah. now. Yeah. We're not potion. really here Trent to... Trent says to... as he was like, I'm in a treasure room. <laughs> <laughs> there's, I mean, there is the actual need for the gold, and then there's the one. Healing potion. Yes. Yeah, Thank there's you. a blue one right over there. And shards and everything like that. I feel like if you, even if you've maxed out your game and Man, you still, still want to pick up the stuff in the level, you've done something right. You know, there's a little bit of compulsion there. Why is everyone leaving all these pots? 
<laughs> After more than a thousand hours in the game, I started to care a little bit less about the one or two gold that drop out of the pots, I guess. Uh, but what was it? Oh, yeah, so back in the 80s. Yes. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, the cartoon, if you've yep. seen it, it's very mild. Oh, yeah. But it, the, the amount of protests around that for being a violent ga- uh, cartoon mm-hmm. was just The unreal. 80s 80s were insane. I mean, when the Tom Hanks movie triggered oh, all those mazes and monsters. monsters. I've seen yeah. that. That was one of his first uh, roles, yeah. I believe. And it was pretty tame. Mark, didn't you know that D&D is about satanic worship? Well, the devil's game. I mean... That's only if you're lawful evil. If you're chaotic evil, it's a demon's game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. If if we did uh, uh, like a proper cartoon of this, and like there there is a non-zero chance that like we may eventually like re-evaluate um, like some of the lines here. We certainly do still say things like kill and what have you um, from time to time, which. You know, in hindsight or sort of outside the moment, uh, you know, you do sort of notice a little bit more often. I think you guys struck a nice balance. I feel like we struck an okay balance, and, and it plays a little bit more like a um, like a film than a uh, than sort of a Saturday morning cartoon, I guess. You know, like this is Myth Force the movie. Yeah. Whereas like uh, if we did like a cartoon the last series, yeah, we might. Uh, we might lean into the Hayes Code a little bit more or something like that if we uh, actually did a, did a cartoon series. It'd be the dream. Who knows if it'd ever happen, but, you know. I would love that. The animation is so beautiful. It would just be, it'd be a shame to not do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I would be... I would... I mean, I would watch the heck out of it. Obviously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I know when that game first came out, my... Um, brother was playing it and he said he kept look at this sorry look at this look at these <laughs> we haven't found uh the uh the lounging daedalus statue just yet we found it i will uh lounging daedalus oh yeah i'll point it out when we find it if we, if we do or as uh some members of the team like to call it the shredalus statue oh <laughs> he's super ripped <laughs> <laughs> oh right uh my brother was playing the game, uh, and he said as he was playing, I, he would hear me talking, and he just kept turning around and being, <gasps> <laughs> That's gotta be, yeah, that's gotta be weird for family members, I guess. Yeah. Like, especially if he plays Victoria. Yes, that's what he was doing, yeah. <laughs> Now that that gives you a unique chance to really f with him though. Yes. Like, uh... Should I re reset? That? that gives you a unique chance to really mess with him. I'll bleep out the uh the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Face me, Running away and buggering off. Brave, brave Sir Roman. Don't mind me, I'm just uh I'm just dying. So Mark's uh, had some experience recording some uh, more typical RPGs uh, in this the is past true. for, um, you know, well known for one of one particular role. But uh... sorry, which one is that? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard of it. This was uh, I was Noel number two in Baldur's Gate two. Uh... There you go. Yeah, exactly. You were also a masked man in uh, one of or one of the uh, cloaked men in the. Uh... That was that was in Baldur's Gate two. That's correct. Also, Bailoth Baratel, the, uh... Oh, yes. Let's not forget Bailoth Baratel. But yes, back in the day, I was... Oh, I switched my weapons! Dying, what the hell dying, is this dying, thing? Dying, dying, oh, dying. yeah, I should probably not be casting ice spells on that. Dying! <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get Rico up. Um, but I was gonna ask, like, uh, are there any, uh, big differences that you notice, uh, recording for more of a traditional RPG versus, uh, something like a co-op game like this? Well, I mean, there was obviously, we're, we're referring to Mass Effect, and there was a lot more dialogue for me in that, because I was playing Commander Shepard, so <laughs> there was just reams and reams of dialogue. Uh, and, let's see, I think we, did we get all of Daedalus down in one session? Yes! Yes. yes. 
Yeah. For now. For now. <laughs> for now. But certainly there's uh there was less bulk of work to work uh, to, Not feeling too hot here. to plow through. So in some ways, Dentalus, you know, I was able to consider if you want a potion, indi each individual one line that much more. Potion? I'm grabbing oh. that. I need oh. that one. <laughs> Damn it, Trent! <laughs> I'll keep it out for more. There's, there's, right. there's moments where I am hella fast, and that is one <laughs> of them. And I'm not sure where to go. Uh... Oh, there's a lot of guys in this corner here. Please keep your arms and legs inside the bubble at all times. Okay. So what you're saying is we should hide in your bubble and do nothing? Well, the bubble is there to, to help us fight. Okay, there's a healing potion here that I will I will not steal. Where's it at? It's in the oh, corner. Okay, oh, okay, there what? it is. What's the magic key to flag potions and such? Uh, Tab by default. Tab. I reset all your custom bindings. Did someone get the potion? I'm, good, I'm good, good right now and I've got My custom bindings are weird. Yeah, so. I'm actually playing like traditional controls or like uh, the controls that the design team set. Um, so like, I'm switching weapons a lot less often and using my abilities less often because they're not where I expect them to be. I could stop and remap, but I won't. When I play a game, I always play it normal setting, default controls. I think it was uh, Modern Warfare where I trained myself to play console not inverted stick because mm. I, was, I was a crazy flight sim player for years and years. I decided I was going to learn to play games like normal people. Normality is overrated. It took a while. Like It was amazing how, how hard it was. Yoik! Got I mean, the big yeah. sword. That was one of the reasons why I was like pretty sure that we, we wanted like full... I'm really good at making remapping. friends here. Because I knew that I was going to want to do something that would be weird and controversial, so. Yoink! Did that, was that me saying impale? I guess I impaled someone. Oh yeah, with your, uh, with your arrow. Those, they're good for impaling. Everyone sees a healing potion, let me know. What we got here? Frugal uh, charm. Crowd around the charm. <laughs> oh, it's a discount charm. I'll carry it. It stacks for everybody. This so. is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> <laughs> that discount works like a charm. I should go. <laughs> we should go. Yes, yes, yes. I'm Dark Lord Daedalus, and this is my favorite shop in Eldrith. <laughs> Sorry about that. Potion had to be chugged. Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm almost dead. I'm, hey, I'm going to take okay. rallying speech tier two. Nice. This is me teaming all the way. Step off. How do you? Dear God, what happened to me? There was a time when I was a really happy rogue. That turned to green smoke. You son of a. Oh, jeez. Yikes! That guy's tough. Buggering off and running away. <laughs> so from a couple of veteran voice actors, any tips for anybody that's interested in trying to break into the industry? Is it easier or harder than when you go to start yourself? For gaming or just... Gaming or just voice work in general. Mark? Sorry? Uh, well, let's see. Do what I did. And in the 90s... Uh... <laughs> Go to uh, this one audition with Bioware that gets you a bunch of work, <laughs> and that I mean that was that we were talking about it. Baldur's Gate 2. That one line that I did in Baldur's Gate 2 led to all my future work. Uh, so you never know. You never know when an audition is going to. So do all the auditions, I guess. Yeah. I found the gaming industry, although it's something I've always wanted to do, uh, was definitely the hardest industry. Really? Yeah, to break into. Not every gaming company does a ton of like auditions that anyone can try mm. to apply for. Yeah, and again, like I, this was back in the '90s when Bioware was doing like cattle call auditions, like <laughs> right here on White Avenue, in yes. a place called BC Studios. Yes. Uh, um, but practice your craft. Yeah, I guess my most valuable uh, bit of advice is uh, get cast as the lead in a video game, and then people just call you. 
<laughs> I forget, were we your first game, uh, Nikki? Yes. Oh, right on. Oh my god, you're my first. <laughs> <laughs> well, honored to have you as, uh, as our Victoria. Thank you. Honored to be here. Anyone need any more healing? Yes. Yes? Let me, uh... Let me just buy another potion for the team here. Um, there is you there go. Another, another healing potion, potion right here. here. Oh, shit. Is there a merchant back here? Yeah. yeah. Where? Oh, right I here. totally did not even Don't see you him. Dare. <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> it's I fine. can drop it. No, you take it. Take it. Take it. Take the healing. If anyone's got 20k, we can roll one more potion. I'm 17. Where do I uh, buy the potion? Oh, well, he, he there's always one potion for sale. There you go. Yeah, and there it is uh, Who needs right it? here. I'm, I'm grabbing it. Sorry. I have 195 health. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. At this level is... Uh, is... And Victoria, you're at, you're at half health, but you still get over I know, I was 500. like, I'm dying, and I'm like, yeah, I have 450 still, so... Yeah. There's relativity there. Yes. We got a, a blue glowy acolyte in this room. All right. Ready? Let's do it. I love backslash. It's handy. I'm we did, really fan. did want to make Rico the, you know, sort of the zoom and boom character, right? Where he can get in. He can do a lot of damage to one character. He doesn't really have much by way of area of effect, so you kind of got to choose your one guy that you're going to beat up, but... It's uh, I don't know. I feel like we uh, we we struck a good balance with all the sort of character abilities in the game. Oh, I hear more enemies. Out of my way. So I mean, outside of the obvious, Myth Wars. Uh, what games do the the two of you play um, regularly? I always find myself going back to Fallout 4 just to build stuff in the wasteland. <laughs> right on. And again, like let's see, playing old games. The next I still I still fire up Skyrim every now and then. Uh, so the open world Bethesda kind of games, huh? Yes. Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption. My gosh. I spent a lot of time in that game. I, I was delighted to find that Red Dead runs on a Steam Deck, so now I can play it hey. uh, during commuting and stuff. How about you, Nikki? Red Dead. Yeah? Yeah. I have never played Skyrim. Really? No, and I... It's on literally everything. I yeah. know. <laughs> I've just never played it. It's cool. They re-release it every couple of years. Yeah. It's on Alexa. It's hard to it's hard to miss it these days. Let me see those off. This must be... Yes! I think that's one of those games where I get, like, 500 hours or something like that in it. Um... And still have never even made it halfway through the plot. Oh yeah, I uh, actively abandoned the plot because <laughs> I was a orcish blacksmith who just maxed out everything. It's like I need dragon bones to make Coming stuff, through. and I'm not getting rid of the dragons. <laughs> dragons are a source of materials. Those, for are, me. those are two of my most popular items that I sell to maintain my cottage and white. <laughs> Here we go, a little treasure. A little treasure. Yeah, this may be controversial coming from the uh, project director of a very much a fantasy game, but I've always been a sci-fi kid myself. So, uh, yeah, the um, or sci-fi and sort of like uh, more contemporary. So, like the Fallout series is probably my favorite. Mm. Too. I do love the art Fallout. Oh yeah. Uh, and maybe I'll have to get back into 76, because I hear a lot of the issues have been... Yeah, yeah, they added NPCs to the world, and... That was one of the main things, it just felt a little yeah, it didn't empty. Feel very fallout. Mm -hmm. It just didn't feel enough, enough like the other Fallout games to feel the same. Yeah, and as I say, building was one of the things that I loved the most, and it was just that, that harsh build limit was like, oh, come on. Oops. Cast that by mistake. 
Good job gathering a team to oppose Deadlifts. Thank you, Hawkman. I'm grateful you joined us. It was clear you needed help. Perhaps tone of voice diminished my The growl in Hawkins' voice. <laughs> yes, my compliments to his voice actor. Pardon me? My compliments to his voice actor. Daedalus is okay. Daedalus is okay. <laughs> hey, it was paycheck. Yeah. That's all I, it meant to me. I remember... <laughs> no, I meant a lot, actually. When we were I recording the Ted Lasso... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. that. that. <laughs> Much fun was had. For anyone who has no idea what that reference means, it's just uh, I recorded a like a little snippet just for Mark, so that when he came in to record, he would hear me uh, saying like a silly quote from the TV show Ted Lasso, just making fun of him pulling Daedalus a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we leveled up? Wait, how did I lose my amulet? I had one before. Did I get pickpocketed by some... I haven't seen any red caps. Red cap. Here comes some Has anybody possible. caught a red cap? No, I didn't see one yet. You've been the perfect con. The red cap took it and ran and none of us noticed. Honestly. Time for it, you As always, my, the core to my Rico play is to stab things from behind when they're not looking at me. I'm just gonna run in and hit things. It's a strategy that works for you, Trent. Like, I think it's, uh, I think it works. It, uh, it definitely works. Oh, if only I remember to re-roll things when I don't like them. I apologize in advance, but I am buying whatever potion is here. We've made enough for at least one reroll, so we can get another potion for... Yeah, you're the one that's uh, probably hurting the most. Yeah. Technically, I think I'm actually hurting more, but... Uh... I'm at full health, but I don't have a potion oh, on I the belt. I might take that walloping turn. I have oh, but that's, that would 788. <laughs> you're doing okay. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, anybody need an ability orb or anything? I'll reroll, get us uh, one more potion here. I'm at uh, 350 health. Yeah, if you want to grab it, uh, Trent, here I'll even I'll buy it and drop it at your feet. Teamwork makes the dream work. Sure does. Yes. Thank you, Luke. You're welcome. I'm all about taking the help that oh, you give. I'll take these magic attack bracers. That'll help me a lot. So I suppose since we're uh, we're releasing this uh, let's play together with the um, release of version 1.0.3.3. Or sorry, one point zero, but three point zero. Um, I should talk a little bit about sort of what's changed in the new version of the game. Um, really, the biggest focus uh, on one hundred three zero was making sure that um, the multiplayer gameplay is as uh, smooth as possible. So um, that's been sort of a big focus of it. Just uh, you know, cleaning up networking and making it so that uh, you know your your whole experience as a uh, as a client player. Um, feels a lot more similar to sort of how it would play in, in solo or as a host, because you know, we're a multiplayer game. We want to, want your experience to be as, uh, as good as possible. But that wasn't all. Um, we haven't seen many of them this run, and I was hoping to kind of point them out. And we have seen one or two, which you might have noticed if you were watching a little bit earlier in the video. Uh, but we have added a new creature to the dungeon, uh, which you will particularly be running into here in the, in the, uh, in the castle itself, um, which is... Uh, Bats, uh, little dive bomb, little dive bombers that will uh, come up to you and uh, sort of get up in the sky and then uh, come right at you and uh, cause bleeding effects. We got a archer over there. I always get lost on this level because you gotta go down to go. 
to the side. I am going to re-roll. Because I occasionally remember to re-roll. We re -roll. are very close to Deadlands. We're like two or three rooms away. I cannot guarantee that we will beat him. Regenerating Acolyte Berserker. Well, I don't think we should. <laughs> we might not have a choice. We'll backslash. Did this guy just motion that he was going to kill me? Yep. I love that. These cartoons are all about the taunting villain. Yes. Yeah. I'm all about the stabby stab. It's my thing. Uh oh. Poison. The hell is that thing? Oh, it's a mimic or something? A mimic, yeah. yeah. So, that guy's gonna be nasty. What's that? Well, there is a magic resistant lizard man over there. I'm gonna need y'all's help to take care of him because uh, magic resistance means that I am not. Oh, well, okay. You mean like that? Nope, yep. Yeah, yeah, that's that. That's <laughs> great. That yeah. I'll just get that guy. Poison. Oh, crap. Poison. I got him. Yikes. Disarm that for you. I'm just gonna hide in Maggie's bubble. <laughs> it's a safe spot. Got an enemy up top there. Yeah. I'm dealing with him. You going up to say hello? Trying at least. There is a. F Fierce orb over here. Check this out. Which is a, a really good power up. I maxed out on those abilities, so. Oh, you know what? I just realized. I can just teleport up there. Got there it. we go. That got. That did the job. This was the way you were supposed to go. Yep, I got it. Mark, are you also just staring? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting with an arrow. Oh no, ice trap. Okay. This must be how Is that all of them? Feels. Oh, look up behind you. Good job, Super. Oh, there's a big guy upstairs. My uh my familiar tends to be a better shot than I am, so <laughs> Oh, more over there. More over where? Where I'm at. Okay, come in. This one. Come in. Hey. This there you go. I do love introducing myself with a backslash. Hello! Stabby stab! Done! Whee. <laughs> okay, and here we are. Is this Daedalus? Yeah, quick, so uh, quick shopping trip before we uh, fight the big man himself. 178 health. Yay me. Some healing here, you know? 
you might want to... Where? Uh, oh, yeah. Just... Yeah, let me just... I just bought one. There's another one? I, feel much I am uh, no longer in enough uh, gold to do another reroll. If anyone has 20k, we can I get do. One more. Gotta talk to this guy. Yep. There we go. Uh, it's got a it's medium a blue this potion. Another potion? I will buy it and I will chug it. Good, good. Anything else that's really appealing here? Ultimate Augment's always useful. And there's ultimate uh, mythic level exalting amulets over here in case you want to be able to do that ultimate ability a little bit more often and you don't have an amulet that's uh, better in its place. I've got... Yeah. I got the health amulet. Which is mm. pretty good. I mean, at the end of the day, taking hits and surviving them is probably... what you really want. I've got another 20,000 gold. Do you want to talk to this guy? Uh, he's going to cost 40k. Oh, he's 40 now. 40 yeah, I don't have that much. We already did two rerolls. Okay. Alright. We ready for this? <laughs> I don't know if we are. <laughs> we'll wait to find out. Daedalus is very tough and handsome, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm slowly regening up to 30%. Oh, yeah, with, um... You're just waiting outside the door for us? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, uh, regening. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, I have regened as much as I can. Okay. Right. Here there he go. is, the man himself. Man himself. The fight you seek is with me! No! Decades of work all gone to waste! You're gonna... I, you, you will pay for your interference! <laughs> all your minions. Beastor was no match for us, and we defeated Hexstar. I'm not afraid of you anymore, Daedalus. It's your turn to fall. Enough talk. How about you? Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Stop dancing about! I'm all about the dancing about. My blood is too precious to spill. Blink and you'll miss me. He's really liking me right now. Yeah. You stand know. still and fight. I am the impaler. I'm on your side, Daedalus. <laughs> Blink and yeah. you'll miss oh. me. Uh oh. Oh no. Back up, back up, back up. This isn't even his final form. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh oh. I've never seen him this angry. Duke! Let me see those eyes. <sighs> Your luck will run out. You vex me! Running away and buggering. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I lost track of him. Stand still and fight. There he is. I won't allow it. Your luck will run out. He's just just jumping right in front of me. He's pissed. Oh, yeah. Come on, you. Guys, I think we should surrender to Daedalus. <laughs> <laughs> He's got some good ideas about how to run this place. Dick, I am so on the ground and getting beat up right now. Running away. Where is he? Is, hat, is he in the wall? No, there he is. I think he's attempting to fly, but he's stuck in a corner. I shall kill you all. Did one of you guys summon that giant sword? Because otherwise, no, that's, that's his. Otherwise, that's, that's bad news. The yeah. uh, giant sword is flying around, murdering us. No, we got, we got him on the ropes. We got him. We almost got him. Yes. Is this possible? You insignificant fools! 
should never have defeated my servants, much less me. <sighs> Do it, Rico. Strike the final blow and take your place as my successor. Maybe that was your plan all along, but I won't do anything you say. I'm with Mythforce. Nice, Marty. This isn't the last you've seen of me. I will have my revenge! I've lived all my life in that vampire shadow. It's time to step into the sun. Look at those pearly whites. <laughs> I do like yeah. their gleam on the teeth at the end of it. Very 80s, very 80s. Yay! So sick. Very those, nice. Uh, ending animations are uh, near to 1030. Teamwork, confidence, and a liberal application of fire magic can solve anything. So you saw the Rico ending, everybody. Now uh, you're going to have to go through and uh, play for yourselves to see the uh, endings for Victoria Hawkins or Maggie. Because there is a unique one per character. Really? So there are individual endings for each of the characters. That's right. Yep, that's because right. I was player depending one. On who gets the, oh, depending on who gets the last shot. Killing okay. low, right? So I, I saved up my backslash so that I could uh, take mm -hmm. him down. Very nice. Because the uh, backslash is the greatest. Oh, if you want to walk us through the exit? Uh... And now this is our place. That's right. Oh my God. You fools, I was Daedalus all along. Ah! <laughs> where, is the, where is the statue of him laying down? Oh, I guess we missed it. We didn't get a chance to, uh, to spot Victory! it during the whole run. And we did it in Halloween costumes, no less. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. Let's take a quick look skins? at the leaderboard. Uh, so Rico oh, did a lot of damage. Yes. Um, also <laughs> took a lot of damage. I, I always lead in a couple stats. <laughs> and I think that this is uh, proof of the also uh, sort of pack ready steal all the gold kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's just say if there is gold to be had, I'll be taking it. <laughs> I was happy yeah. just to be here and not actually die all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. No, I think this is a. We, you guys did a great job, and uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, and for everybody that's uh, watching, hope you had a good time. Um, if you uh, are uh, interested, the 1030 should be uh, live now. Uh, that's the most wow. recent update to the game. And uh, we are hard at work right now on version uh, 1040, uh, which is focused around um, big improvements to the uh, pacing of the game and uh, combat and all of our abilities. We're just doing a full overhaul to make sure that everything feels as smooth and as responsive as possible. So uh, look forward to that. Yeah, I think it's the sad reality of game development is the instant we finish 1030, we start 1040. <laughs> <laughs> the instant we're done 1040, we've probably already got work on 1050. <laughs> Basically picture a treadmill of endless tasks to improve the game. <laughs> you just keep running. But it's just more and more for people to play and to That's enjoy right. at different levels. Yeah. And yeah, it's great. And then it's also nice because people that are playing can see you responding to their comments and applying yeah. the things that you that they're requesting as best as you can, right? Yeah, well, and it's, it's one of the great things about game development. I mean, we get to build the thing we've always wanted to build, and when we're finally done building it, we really understand how to make it better. Yeah. And then we can just put effort into making it better. And, and part of it as well is just as we're making the game, we literally make some content that we just don't get to use so we've we've got voice recording from people that we haven't played we haven't put into the game yet we've got some additional things that we tested out that just didn't quite work out but we can we can put them in and we can finish them up and and sometimes i mean you get to the end you ship the game and you're like you know what x just doesn't work it's not working we got to rethink this we got to mm. come back at it we got to take another swing at it and mm. sometimes that's that's one of the most challenging things in game development. You put in a lot of work, and it's it's just it's that duality. Like it's it's like proposing. I propose that this will be fun, and then you play it, and you're like, in reality, this sucks. <laughs> so <laughs> let's rethink this. Yeah. And then once you get it finally implemented and tuned, and it's playing it, and it, and it works, you're, you're, you're it's like vindicated. Yeah. So real talk. 
how long before Daedalus is a romanceable character? <laughs> that's what you guys are aiming for, right? That's a romanceable that's, that's, that's character. A romanceable character, yeah. It'll be. We're waiting for the. It'll just be a dating art. sim with Daedalus. I, I think that's Victoria my version. Just, like offers her neck. Hi. Twelve point oh or something like that. Just parts his hair to the other side, and she's like, "I'm sorry, have we met before?" He puts glasses on him. Yeah. 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 Like, oh. Seems really that's approachable. <laughs> But one of the things I'm actually really looking forward to is just being able to roll out a lot of the lore mm -hmm. because there is a whole world here and there's a whole ton of backstory and each character has their backgrounds yeah. and the kind of their origin stories and we just we really haven't rolled any of that stuff out yet. There's just so much yet to come. Yeah, I mean, we, we've alluded to a lot in dialogues and things like that where you can kind of get little snippets of the backstory, but we're kind of slow rolling it. We want to, uh, you know, let people kind of experience a little bit more organically. But I mean, uh, the two of you even recorded a lot more than you've heard in the game yeah. so far. So yeah. uh, there, there's there's more that we can do and there's more that we're hoping to do. Are you guys, uh, th like, are there, I know that there's characters too that have not necessarily appeared yet. Have are, is that something for the future that you're still thinking of rolling out? Quite possibly, if we have the opportunity to do so. I think for every feature in the game, there's five features sitting on, on a board somewhere. <laughs> it's like, what is it going to take to finish X? Oh, God. Can we afford that? <laughs> oh, how long will that take? Well, I mean, the beauty of it all is, like, we're getting a lot of good feedback from our community and from all the players who are telling us, like, what they really value and what they want the most. And that's helping us to sort of drive knowing what it is that we should be focused on. And Gives you direction. Yeah, exactly. It helps us to, I mean, like, we have our own thesis of what is uh, sort of going to be best for uh, for the game. And then we have uh, sort of the reality of what players are telling us. And so it's uh, just gathering all that feedback, getting those sort of root cause things and uh, saying, okay, well, this is the sort of direction that we're going to push in next. And, you know, maybe it's, uh, you know, a little bit more content right now. It's uh, the big focus is on uh, making the core experience as good as we can make it. So. Yeah. Like one of the things we, we always talk about is like triage meetings and triage is about literally choosing who lives and who dies and <laughs> yeah. you've got a critical amount of work that you can apply and you're trying to figure out where to best apply that work and as a game developer you're essentially always in triage because you've got all these features that you just love the idea of you love the concept but some of them just they, they can't get done in a timely manner and some things are are broken in terms of what you envisioned versus what the the current development reality is and it's it's just a matter of trying to go in there, slug it out, and, and break, drag something across the finish line. And like, with Mythforce, I mean, with a fairly small team, we were able to take it and build a game, bring it to Xbox, bring it to PlayStation, bring it to Switch, bring it to PC, and, and have it stable and, and fun on all yeah. those platforms. And uh, that was really hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is fun. So yeah, it is fun. And again, like, just uh, very much admire the 1980s Saturday morning cartoon aesthetic of it all. So It really is intergenerational, right? You're bringing so many different generations of people together to enjoy something together. And it's, it's great. And that's one thing we really kind of want to lean into going forward is really kind of embrace the cartoon nature of it and, and see if we can't do a little more cartoon-style storytelling and, and just have fun with it. Well, one thing that I would suggest is... If you'll recall, at the end of G.I. Joe and uh, Masters of the Universe, they would often have like a little, just a little tip for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> PSAs? Yeah. yeah, yeah. PSA. Some PSAs with these characters would be good. Because yeah, I'd love to for Daedalus to do one. We're excellent. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I mean, my, my dream is that we can uh, we can take it even further. We can tell a lot more stories in the Myth Force world, and we can get you folks in the uh, booth a little bit more, too. Oh, please, that would be a dream. This was uh, one of my favorite jobs I've ever done. So, yeah, uh, anytime. And anytime. The, uh, the Just Say No PSA from Daedalus will be very good. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining us and uh, tuning in and watching the uh, stream, everybody. We really appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the game. Uh, thanks for watching. And thanks for joining us, uh, Mark, Nikki, Trent. Thank you for sitting in, too. I think one of the key things is remember that the characters really come to life when we put the art to it, but the voice actors come in and really kind of lend the soul to it. It really fleshes out the whole character, and it's, it's hilarious how much just hearing the voice actor as a as an 
as an artist or as a writer, you suddenly start to change that character. Mm. You, it's, it firms them up. It makes them more real. And it's, it's kind of the magic of game development. Like, the reason I love it is because you can come in and you can say, I propose the following. And, you, and then you get a bunch of really skilled people involved and they all contribute their expertise and their ability. And it comes out 50 times better than what you thought it was ever going to be. And you're like, that's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, even more than like film or TV, I think video games uh, are probably the most collaborative art form yeah. that there is. But it just doesn't come together until all the pieces are there. And there's so many hands touching every piece of it. And when it does combine, it's, it's like Captain Planet. <laughs> and, and all the powers unite and it becomes pretty awesome. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work there, Trent, when you're like, I'm going to do something that gives inspiration to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my play style totally doesn't reflect. <laughs> 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 thank you so much for having us. And thank Thanks you for again, Thank you for loop. joining us. Great. Really appreciate yeah. it. Uh, and thank you for playing the game. Bye, everyone. Bye.